Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to Jargon Free Help. This week my dad asked me about looking at books on his iPad. He's just got an iPad and he wants to know specifically if there was another way to get books other than using iBooks. Well, there is and there are some other options out there as well. Amazon do a version of the Kindle available on the iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, Mac and PC. So you can actually read books on there as well, so you can get those. There are other sources, and if you do a bit of a Google search, you will actually find other sources for ebooks. You're looking for ebooks, look for ebooks available on the iPad or to work on the Kindle. As it happens in iBooks, you can also read PDFs as well. So if you can get a book in a PDF format, then you can also look at that on the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. So we're going to take a look at that at a moment. As you know, the weather's been pretty grim in the UK and around Europe, so it's actually not a bad time to be sitting back and actually reading some books because there's actually not that much else to do. And we're almost at the end of the year, so it's a nice time to put your feet up and catch up on those books that you've been meaning to read anyway. But anyway, let's take a look at how this works on the iPad. So you'll see I've got Kindle here, and I've also got the iBooks that I've already downloaded both of these, and this one here is in the dock. So just a quick look, Amazon do also give you books as well, so to do that I would just go to Amazon and you'll see it'll load up in a minute and it's already got here a sample which is the Oxford American Dictionary and if I tap on it you'll see that it's got a book in here and I can just move across like that as if I'm turning pages. Now this is a dictionary, probably doesn't look as interesting as some other books out there but if I just tap it, I get options like to bookmark it up here and I can go back to home where I would have a library of books in here. I can shop in the Kindle store just by tapping here and what it does is it opens up Safari on the iPad. Now the thing about Kindle is it does work on the iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad and it's also available for the Mac or PC as well. You'll see that you do actually have book collections down the side here. You could search just by tapping in there and searching for something. But you'll notice here there are free ebook collections. So if I tap on that, I will actually be able to find some free books. These are generally books that are no longer under copyright, such as Treasure Island. And you'll find that there are absolutely many books there. You then can see it says it's got the Kindle price there. And you'll see it does have a Kindle edition. If I tap here, it will expand to show me which ones are available. And it's actually telling me, although it says it's free, there is actually a charge here of 49 pence there, £1.49 for the other ones, and also 189 I don't know why those ones are there, but they say it's free. Okay, so that's actually the Kindle. So I could download books, and let's face it, that's still very cheap for a book. But if I go to iBooks, what you'll see is I have already got my library here and you'll see that it's laid out like it's on a bookshelf so I could move this up and down to see more. I've actually stored them as well in collections. I can actually download any PDF that I've got and I could actually then read those on here as well. So here is one, some facts from NASA. So I can actually just go through and read those and obviously I could turn it the other way as well. Just tap on it to go back to my library. You can have this in portrait or landscape view, I'm just keeping it in landscape. I can actually also sort them into different categories. I've got classics here, which are some that I've downloaded. All of these were actually really free, unlike Amazon where you've got to pay what probably is some sort of download fee. These are actually really free. Um, if I go back to collections, I can go back to my books and you'll see I've got a whole load here. And you'll see I've got some here, say, so let me just choose, say, Ivanhoe. And this is great that so many of these books are out of copyright now and that I can actually just use them for free. And you'll see I can turn the pages here or I can just tap to move on to the next page. OK, so that's not in English. Not a very good choice there for this particular one, since I guess most of you watching this are English. But one of the great things here is you can actually get samples. So, for example, there is one, which is the iPad Starter Guide, and there is also the 
iPad user guide here. By the way, everything that I'm doing here in iBooks is the same on the iPhone and iPod Touch as well. And one of the great things is, is that wherever you're up to in here, you can set it so it synchronizes with the other. So if I open this up then on the iPhone, it takes me to the same place where I've left off. As you can see, I can turn the pages and so on. You'll see I've actually bookmarked some things and you can put notes in there as well. And again, I can simply mark a page here. The great thing about that is if I go back to the table of contents, it's got the bookmarks that I've put in and I can jump straight to those. So it makes it nice and easy, really easy to use. If I go back to my library, and this is where ebooks are starting to come into their own. Here is Michael McIntyre, popular English comedian. He's written a book, Life and Laughing. I'm just going to tap on that because one of the things they've done in this book is they've added in enhancements. So basically, if I just turn the page, there is actually a message here from Michael McIntyre. And you can actually have these with messages all the way through or video all the way through your book here. So I can just tap on that, that makes it full screen. If you haven't seen Michael McIntyre, check him out, he's on YouTube as well. Very funny chap. So if I click on done, it takes me back to here. I can then just turn the page and start reading the book. So this is a great way of reading books. Some people still like the books in their hand, which I do as well. But also I do like the fact that I can bookmark things, particularly reference books and go back to those as well. I also think it's a great idea when I'm traveling because I can take the iPad, which is going to be useful for my emails and some other things as well. And it will lighten the load on the number of books that I'm taking with me. Don't forget it also takes magazines too and anything that you can get in a PDF. So if you do manage to get a book in a PDF or a magazine, then you can read it on here as well. So very convenient. Do drop me a line. Let me know if you've been using these to read books. Have you got a Kindle? Have you been using it on there as well? What do you think? What's your favorite book too? So this is a nice time of year to put your feet up and catch up on those. But let me know what you're doing too. Anyway, have a great Christmas and I will see you all next week, just before the new year. So thanks for watching and keep warm. Don't forget, jargon-free help is more than just technology.